Hey guys, welcome to my session. In this session, we are going to discuss how to integrate upon AI chart GPT with .NET Core C Sharp. Few days back, I have created a video session on how to use chart GPT and how to earn $100 per day without any skill and investment. If you want to watch this session, I will give this link on video description as well as the i button. Please check it out. Today we are going to integrate our chart GPT with C Sharp and .NET Core. I am going to use .NET Core 6.0 Web API application for this demonstration. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notifications. Without wasting one more time, let's get started. So I am using here Visual Studio 2022 2022 a .NET Core 6.0 Web API. So I am creating a new project. After completion of this video session, I am going to give the link of this source code in the video description. You can download it. So I am using .NET Core 6.0 Web API. I am let's give chart GPT with c sharp okay click on next so i'm creating dotnet core 6.0 long term support for now i'm no need of https keeping the controller and open api which is swag buckle or swagger click on create wait for a few seconds it will create our a basic template for dotnet core 6.0 web api then we will integrate Okay, our application created in the solution explorer you can see controller properties this is the weather forecast service model everything right now thing we need to install a new get package which is upon ai so go to tools new get package manager new get package manager console so our console has open let it initialize now it is initializing here we need to add install hyphen package space upon ai hit enter and it will install the okay it got installed done our new get package is installed now let's create our one more controller so i am going to add a controller here which is a API controller, MT controller R I am giving the controller name as GPT controller ok now we need to go to open AI web portal and we need to generate our security key or access key for now I no need of this route okay let's open ai so this is open ai so if you go to api section here you can log in you can sign up i have already logged in with my gmail account so i can log in with it so i am continuing with my google wait for few seconds it will create it will open once we log into our open api account we need to go to here account and here we have view api keys so once we go to there so i i have already created api keys we can create one more also and after creating this video obviously i'm going to delete my api keys so don't worry next thing is the step second step is creating a open ai account and go to the view api keys in this section okay now we have added new get package upon ai in our application in this controller i am going to add using 
ओपन ए आई अंडर स्कोर एपीआई यूजिंग ओपन ए आई अंडर स्कोर एपीआई डॉट कॉम्प्लीशन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट ए एपीआई फॉर दिस सो इट विल बी एस टी पी गेट एंड द एपीआई नेम इज यू चार जीपीटी इट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग ए पैरामीटर दैट इज ए क्वेरी next next part is we need to create a upon ai variable equal to new upon ai it takes the security key in the security key go to the portal okay let me copy the security key so bhar the object name called new upon ai here it takes the security key which is created we got from our upon ai web portal next is we can create a completion request new completion request here we can accomplish request dot prompt the prompt will be the query or the parameter we have set next completion model request dot model equal to completion request so this completion request dot model ko upon ai api dot models dot model dot davinci text davinci text is chart gpt 3 model right so we have configure our prompt we have configure our model next section we created a var completion upon api which is our open ai api dot completion dot create completion async where we are posting this completion request we just configured next thing is inside a for each loop i am completion equal to completions dot result dot completion so this is a string i need to declare here so it's a blank string inside this it is adding the text and it will return the output let's run the application and see how it is behaving i am coming up with a new session about chart gpt and c sharp on advanced programming uh, within very 2 to 3 days actually so guys please stay tuned to my channel you will not be dissatisfied so our application got run this is a get click on try it out so let's you can see here we didn't give any kind of result or anything so we just post our query then we are hitting the apis create completion async then we are getting the result so here i am going to give a something like what is like click on execute life is meaningful existence characterized by growth development and learning this is one result so next i am again clicking execute life is a condition of existing or living that state of being alive so every time i put i execute my api it's randomly generating the text and showing to me life is a condition of being alive the experience of having consequences right so here i can give also what is c sharp c sharp pronounce c sharp as general purpose right so what is we can give chart gpt right we are getting our result so in this way we can integrate chart gpt completion to our dot net core and c sharp guys i hope you like this session if you do give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and if you have any comment and suggestion 
please share with me in my in the comment box thank you very much